Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will learn about the new guest who is coming to the guest house of Ahad's family and uh, how he will react after receiving the envelope from uh, the owner of this guest house. The new guest, because of the journey, journey, he looked untidy, his hair, his necktie, his shoes, all needing attention, but he had a cheerful face and jet black eyes. Uh, us, jo new guest aaya hai, because of the journey, his full attire untidy hai. Uske hair, uske necktie, uske shoes, sab gande lag rahe hain. Aur, uh, lekin uski eyes, bohut sparkling eyes hain, bohut hi cheerful face hai uska. Mr. Ahad stepped forward and asked Mr. David, I presume Mr. Ahad usse question karta hai ki are you Mr. David? The young man looked closely at his face, smiled and nodded. Jo young man hai, jo new guest hai, usne uh, koi answer nahi kiya, just smile kiya aur nodded kiya, gesture show kiya usne apne. Room number 18 please, everything is ready. So Mr. Ahad unne batata hai ki aapka room number 18 hai. The young man again looked at him, smiled and nodded. He paid the porter for he was not asked to return the change and disappeared. The young man friendly looked look and sat before a huge book which the landlord had pushed before the necessary entries about himself and his intended stay. उसके बाद यंग मैन वहां पे बैठता है उसे जो लैंडलॉर्ड है उसे एक रजिस्टर ऑफर करता है जिसके जिसके ऊपर उसने एंट्रीज करनी होती हैं जो कि वो कितने अरसे तक यहां पे रुकने वाला है कितने दिन का उसका स्टे होने वाला है at this time he discovered the sealed envelope containing the type sheet lying addressed uh, to him by name he took the cover by tore uh, and tore it open उस टाइम उसे एक जो सील्ड एनवेलप नजर आता है जिसमें वो चिट मौजूद है और वो उसको उठाता है उसे खोलता है and at that moment landlady entered into the room and she hurriedly asked her husband if this uh, if this was the guest or after having received confirmation from her husband she shook hand with the young man and she asked from uh, the, uh, Mr David that uh, do you have a nice journey Mr David and uh, she asked that thing with a very sweet smile because was unki uh, wo zyada hospitable thi. and the young man just smiled and nodded unhone koi bhi young man ne mr mrs david ko, uh, mrs ahad ko bhi koi bhi answer nahi kiya just smile kiya aur nodded kiya aur is tarah se show kiya ki ha journey koi na hi itni buri thi aur na hi uh, itni achhi thi and then she asked, would you like to have a bath immediately or tea first? The young man pursed his lips and shrugged his shoulder, obviously implying that one would be as good as the other and that he had no preference. Land lady ke is question ke answer may be uh, Mr. David, jo young man hai, jo new guest hai, usne koi clear answer nahi kiya, just uh, apne gestures show kiye uh, aur usse unko uh, batane ki koshish kar raha hai ke us उसकी कोई प्रेफरेंस नहीं है उसे जो चीज पहले मिल जाए बोथ द लैंडलॉर्ड एंड द लैंडलेडी वर बाय नाउ स्लाइटली डिसकंसर्टेड बाय व्हाट दे इनफर टू बी देयर गेस्ट प्राइड एंड एरोगेंस सिंस ही हैड नॉट इवन डेन टू रिप्लाई एडिक्वेटली टू देयर पोलाइट इंक्वायरीज कि अब उनको ऐसा लग रहा है कि ये जो न्यू गेस्ट है ये एरोगेंट है ये proud hai ki wo unke jo polite uh, inquiries hain jo wo unse question pooch rahe hain wo unka bhi reply kar nahi karna cha raha the young man meanwhile took out the type chit and started reading it jo usko wahan pe envelope mila tha uske andar jo type chit thi wo usko read karna shuru ho gaya as soon as he had gone through it he looked around astonished wo bahut hairan ho raha tha that girl mahin was at the moment playing in the courtyard uh, we could see her sitting near the flower beds. The young man looked at all, all of us with a smile and darted out toward her. Mahin us time pe jo flowers ke paas baithi vi thi aur jo young man hai Mr. David after reading the that uh, chit wo uski taraf uh, jata hai inko smile dit. Now this is very strange, Mrs. Ahad cried out in protest. How rude he is. Unke according wo both rude hai. Jab un, usko mana bhi kiya gaya hai ke uh, jo mahin hai uske baas nahi jana lekin wo phir bhi wahan ja raha hai. He should not have ignored our request like this. The landlord put in more mildly. Landlord ko bhi ye achcha nahi lag raha. 
آئی ٹو واز اے بٹ اپسٹ جو نریٹر ہے جو رائٹر ہے مسٹر ندیم ہے وہ کہہ رہے کہ آئی واز آلسو اپسٹ کہ اس نے یہ سجیشن ان کو دی تھی یہ ریمیڈی یوز کر رہا تھا لیکن اس کو لگ رہا تھا کہ یہ جو ریمیڈی ہے یہ بھی اب ورک نہیں کر رہی فار اٹ واز اوبیس دیٹ آر ایفرٹ ٹو سیو ماہی ان امبیرسمنٹ فرام اسٹرینجر واز گوئنگ ٹو فیل ان دس انسٹنس آفٹر اے فیو مومنٹس وی آل واکڈ آؤٹ ٹو دا ویرانڈا and i was apprehensive of that impending look of anguish on the faces of the parents and the child ke ab jo wo soch raha tha imagine kar raha tha ke ab jo anguish look hai wo parents ke face pe bhi aur child ke face pe bhi aane wali hai kyunki ab wo jaise hi approach karega mahin ko aur mahin uska reaction degi the scene that confronted us with was something we least expected jo wo سوچ رہے تھے ایکسپیکٹ کر رہے تھے اس کے اپوزٹ ہوا دا اسٹرینج یگ مین واز ریکلائننگ آن دا گراسی گراؤنڈ اینڈ دا ماہین واز سٹنگ آن ہیز لیپ ہی واز شوئنگ ہر فلار اینڈ سڈنلی لائک دا ساؤنڈ آف اے گن ایکسپلوڈنگ دا شریل اینیمل لائک لافٹر آف ماہین پیئرس دا ایئر سو ایک دم سے پھر انہیں ایسا فیل ہوا کہ ایک بہت ہی اونچی ساؤنڈ انہیں سنائی دی ساؤنڈ آف اے گن ایکسپلوڈنگ جس طرح کی گن ایکسپلوڈنگ کی یا ایک دھماکے کی ساؤنڈ ہوتی ہے اس طرح کی ساؤنڈ سنائی دی یہاں پہ سملی یوز ہوئی ہے وائز آف دا لٹل گرل ماہین ود دا ساؤنڈ آف دا گن اینڈ دا شریل اینیمل لائک لافٹر آف ماہین ایز ویل وہ یہ کہہ رہے کہ اس کی آواز ایک دم سے ان کو سنائی دی پیرنٹس لک ایٹ ایچ ادر ود ونڈر اینڈ امیزمنٹ کیونکہ کبھی بھی ماہین کی آواز انہیں سنائی نہیں دی تھی یا اس طرح سے وہ کھل کے ہنسی نہیں تھی دیٹس وائی دے ور آل امیزڈ آر ڈاٹر ہیز ناٹ لافٹ لائک دس فار یئرس مسز احد سیٹ کیوریس وی واچ دا ٹو آف دیم ہو ور ناؤ واکنگ ٹوورڈ اس ہینڈ ان ہینڈ وہ دونوں اکٹھے ان کی طرف آ رہے تھے اینڈ دے ور ویری کیوریس کہ اس نے ایسا کیا بولا کہ وہ اتنا زیادہ ہیپی ہے ماہین رین ٹو ہر مدر اینڈ ڈانسڈ اباؤٹ ہر ہر ود ود جوائے she made her queer sound of ma 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 and widely pointed to the young man it was mr david who came to uh, our rescue so this is the mr uh, david who uh, who is a source of uh, a silver lining uh, for that uh, ahad's family or wo unke rescue ke liye aaya tha we soon realized that he was deaf and dumb too kyunki wo unko uh, reply nahi kar raha tha sirf gestures show kar raha tha aur wo samajh rahe the ki wo arrogant hai proud hai lekin wo deaf and dumb tha his strange ambiguous silence his sudden rush for the uh, girl on reading the note all became instantly clear to us wo at once wo sari queries resolve ho gayi jo unko uh, question unke mind mein aa rahe the wo sab resolve ho gaye it took us time to digest the news aur isko hazm karna unke liye difficult ho because unhe lagta tha ki mahin ke mahin kabhi theek ho hi nahi sakti ya mahin kabhi happy ho hi nahi sakti and then both parents broke into incoherent statement of profuse apology that they had not noticed it earlier ab unko realize ho raha hai ki unhone unki galat judgment thi about mr david to wo ab apologize kar rahe hain imagining the type of men they were talking to they spoke in half sentence and tried to, to convey the rest through gesture wo gesture ke through unko samjhane ki koshish kar raha tha but the young man uh, had not slightest difficulty in understanding them he appeared to read their lips wo unke lips uh, lip reading kar leta tha he gracefully acknowledged their warmth and either nodded or shook his head in reply for more complicated and lengthy answers he used pen and paper wo unko likh ke bhi samjhata tha gestures bhi use karta tha the next day mrs ahad was full of news mrs ahad bahut happy thi she talked as she had never talked before she mentioned the stranger and the plans for the betterment of mahin he had outlined to her and her husband there were schools for such people use mr david ne bataya tha ki special students ka school hota hai to usko mahin ko wahan pe admission dilwaya ja sakta 
though they were beyond most people's means he had himself been educated in one such institution abroad and had now returned to pakistan to render the same useful services to others so ye jo mr david hai wo usne khud bhi aise hi education li thi aur ab wo pakistan aise hi school banane ke liye aaya She almost broke down with gratitude when she said that he had agreed to accept Maheen as her uh, as his first pupil. So, वो बहुत happy थी कि Mr. David ने ने उसको वादा किया है कि वो Maheen को अपना first student बनाएगा ही हैड एम्फेटिकली स्टेटेड दैट द गर्ल कुड इन कोर्स ऑफ टाइम लिव ऑलमोस्ट एज नॉर्मल अ लाइफ एज एनी वन ऑफ अस हु हैड द पावर ऑफ हेयर और माहिन भी नॉर्मल लोगों की तरह लाइफ स्पेंड कर सकेगी मिसिस आहद लाफ लाइक अ केयर फ्री गर्ल शी गेव अस एन एक्स्ट्रा हेल्पिंग ऑफ जैम एंड बटर एंड हनी एट द टेबल शी लुक द हैप्पीएस्ट वुमेन इन द वर्ल्ड क्योंकि वो अब बहुत टेंशन फ्री हो चुकी है कि उसकी जो बेटी है वो इस डिसेबिलिटी को भी फेस कर सकेगी इसके साथ भी नॉर्मल लाइफ स्पेंड कर सकेगी सो मिस्टर डेविड वाज द सोर्स ऑफ हैप्पीनेस फॉर हिम फॉर हर और एंड हर फैमिली एंड ही वाज अ सिल्वर लाइनिंग फॉर हर फैमिली टू